Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Rider. We're back with another unboxing video. We've got a large, large box from Chiasium today. You can see how big she is. This is one I've been waiting for. So we're going to open her up and be very happy, hopefully. Uh, I know what this is. There's only one thing it could be. Uh, I have several copies of this actually already, but not for a 7th edition called Cthulhu. Chaosium. Uh, mine are for various earlier editions. Um, I don't know why I have so many different copies of this. I mean, you guys know what it's going to be. But look at this. Chaosium. You guys are the best. So much packing stuff. Just try to get it here intact and in good shape. All kinds of pieces. Uh, cardboard just to make sure it's not damaged in root you guys rock I love it it's a big big box Ooh, okay let's get that out of the way let's see um my best bet's going to be to come from this side so two layers of cardboard for this big bad boy huh. Uh, as soon as uh, as soon as this became available for purchase, I went ahead and got a copy. This is, of course, there's my seat. This, of course, Masks of Nyarlat Hotep. Oh, that's perfect. Masks of Nyarlat Hotep for seventh edition. This is uh, a slipcase with. Uh, the, Max of, uh, the Masks, Dark Schemes, Herald at the End of the World. Oh, wait, no, that's supposed to say that. What is, what's the difference here? Uh, okay, we got Volume 1, Volume 2, and the Keeper's Scream. I apologize, guys. I'm a little under the weather. I've got some kind of sinus thing going. I don't, I don't know what it is. But we're going to take a look at this as best we can, despite that. Um, as soon as I saw this was coming out, I was ready for it. I've never run Masks. I've played in it a little, and I've used some of the stuff from it for various games, especially... Um, I know there was an Australian chapter that was removed and placed in Terra Australis uh, that I have used in one of my campaigns. Alright, we have a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of packing material. This is still sealed up, and it looks like there's even more cardboard in here to keep our slipcase intact. That's very nice. Very solid. A little bungeed on the corners, but that's to be expected when you order something through the mail. Let's uh, let's take a look at these guys. Let's look at book volume one first. Dark Schemes, Herald, The End of the World, volume one. A dire plan has been enacted, which, if allowed to come to fruition, threatens to destroy humanity as we know it. But all is not lost. If a few brave souls can uncover and piece together certain information, they might prevent the unspeakable from happening. Uh, so... Facing dark cults, strange lore, hideous monsters, and a range of implacable foes, the investigators embark on a journey to, of discovery to face the ultimate horror. This is their story and yours to tell. Volume 1 launched the investigators into the mystery of the Carlisle Expedition and contains campaign introductions, Peru, Prologue, Campaign Start, America, England, and Egypt. So this is the first half, I guess, of the campaign. Master Darla Hotep is a campaign that's really done well. People love it. Oh, look at that. Here, let's take a let's take a sniff. I can barely smell anything because my my nose is all messed up. Don't go on it. So we've got our introduction, the book structure, prologue, Peru. This is all new, I believe. Peru is totally new for masks. Uh, campaign beginnings, America. This will be New York and Jackson Elias, England, and Egypt. We made it to England in the one game that I actually played in. Uh, we dealt with uh, the the Juju House. Um, there's the Carlisle Expedition. Listen to these pages just kind of crinkle as they were opened for the first time. Is that Jackson Elias? Okay, that's not how I pictured him. Cult of the Bloody Tongue. Key timeline events. That's clever. Very nice. There's Nyalat Hotep himself. Here's the introduction and information on racism, sexism. We're not going to look through this all in, in its entirety, I think. Or if we will, but we're going to do so quickly. Let's get the slipcase kind of out of the way so that we're not sh getting a shadow. Oh, 
There's the, what's her name? Another one of Mignola Hotep's masks. Here's all the care NPCs. Very cool. Pre-generated player characters. Okay, nice. Whoa. Well, I don't want this to be like a half an hour long. I've already seen that there's been one unboxing. It's like 45 minutes. I'd like to limit mine to about 10. Here's Peru. Um... Nice, beautiful maps, as always, Chaosium. Oh, God. <laughs> That's terrifying. Dramatis person Personae. Some adversaries. I know nothing about the Peru chapter. It's brand new. I've never read it. I've read through masks a few times. Various different, um, various different incarnations of masks for various different editions. I have the hardback that was put out a few years ago for 6th edition. And I have a copy of that. Ruins, tunnels, and more on Peru. I'm trying to get my arms in a position where I can actually get to the book. We don't need to be showing, like, every page does not need to be in investigated. A message from an old friend, Jackson Elias, in New York City. What you know about your friend, Jackson Elias? So a lot of this is stuff that uh, has happened before. There's Manhattan. Oh, nice. A clue diagram. Very cool. This is a very complex, um, there's a Waldorf story, a very complex campaign, I believe. And so it requires a lot of thought. It's going to require, it requires a lot of keeping track of stuff. Now I helped uh, edit just a little bit. Oh, nice. There's the actual, there was one of the problems with the original game was that it said you could only see the first few letters, but you were looking from the starboard side of the ship, which means... Why would you only see the first few letters of the ship? That didn't make any sense to me. But it was still cool. Um, so that's explained. Hooray. Oh, I dealt with these people. With some of them. Hold on, I'm trying to find a place to put my arm. Yes, there's New York City. Oh, bugger. Just bumped the heck out of, the, out of this thing. Oop. So when you order this from Chaosium, you also get, there's the Juju house. This we did investigate. Um, I know RPPR did a Trail of Cthulhu version of this, and they did not investigate the Juju house. I was terribly disappointed because I wanted to see how they did. All right, so that looks like it's the American chapter, pretty much. Here's all your NPCs and uh, hirelings. England. We got a little ways into England when I actually played this game, but we did not get very far. Clue diagrams. Ooh, Colton Residence. Oh, these pages are st they're stuck together, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm worried I'm going to tear them. Oh, nice. Nice London map. There we go. Route of the Carlisle Expedition. Very sweet. Here's the Penhue Foundation. We did check into that a little bit, and then the game just kind of ended. Our GM, I think, got tired of, of running it. We were, uh, we were going to deal with a missing character. One of the characters went missing because she went off on her own. We were going to go try to find her. The Chelsea Serpent. That's what it dealt with, actually. But we never got to figure out what was going to happen if we rushed the place. Probably bad things. Probably terribly bad things. This is a beautiful book, and there are tons of illustrations. Lesser E. Dale. I'm going to switch sides here because I can actually do a little bit better from this side, I think. Oh, jeez. England. Okay, we're going to skip ahead a little bit because we're already at 10 minutes and I did not want this to be that long. Slaughter and Soho, the Blue Pyramid Club. Last time I read this was a very long time ago. Empire Spices. So I'm not certain of everything that's, that is happening or is to happen in here. Whoops. There's a lot. There's a lot in England. I don't know if they uh, expanded upon what or what, and I kind of want to take my old copy and look through it. Not nearly as long, that's for sure. Uh, there's also the the uh, Masks Companion is one that uh, I helped do a little editing with. I don't remember if I... Oops. We did not make it to Egypt. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that before, but um, I helped them early on when they started to put it together. Uh, I said, hey, if you guys need an editor... Or if you need somebody to help with editing. So I helped do some proofreading for them and get some of that together. That's a another nice investment. 
Dr. Kafar. I'm still scared to death that I'm just going to, I'm going to go, whoop, and it's just going to rip a page because they're kind of hooked together. The Clive Expedition. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is the first, so this is the first half, the first half of the book. We're going to go through the second half a little, ooh, a little more quickly, I think, simply because, yeah, this shouldn't be halfway through. This, most YouTube videos, people start to phase out around. Uh, 10 minutes I've found so so there's the first book darks uh, there's book one here is book two um, same in the back beautiful I love that I love the uh, I love that cover I love the colors of it let's see what we got here so this is Kenya Australia and China uh, Australia is the one that they actually printed in Terra Terra Australis, initially, back in the day. Um, this one is not clicking. It's not like pulling... Pages aren't, pages aren't hooked together like in that other one. A route map. Here's Nairobi. Um, somewhere around here, uh, tucked away in a box. I've also got the Secrets of Kenya, which goes along with this quite nicely. Um, the Bloody Tongue, all that good stuff. If the Nairobi Star has been destroyed... I wish I had a better setup for doing this because, oh God. Uh, oh yeah, Pulp. This also has information for running this through Pulp Cthulhu as well as regular Call of Cthulhu, uh, which would give you a pulpier, there's the Great Temple, a pulpier, more dangerous, more exciting, um, ugh, somebody's pregnant, uh, less less deadly, I guess you could say, or less... Lovecraft stuff was not usually very pulpy. People always died constantly. But I think the pulp would allow the player characters not to um, to die quite so quickly. I'll tell you one thing that I kind of miss about... Well, maybe not. The Australian Outback. Oh, no, no, they've got them. Um, I love that they have captions um, for the pictures in most cases. I had noticed they were on the side here. Um, oh, there's... Uh, yeah... Darwin. Now this one I ran for my campaign for 6th edition way back, like 10 years ago. Just this one scenario, because it was in Terra Australis, uh, about dealing with the Great Race and the city of the Great Race. Uh, it went pretty well. They managed to actually escape. Now I wonder if... Ha! Neat. Selected passages from A Shadow of Time. There's the portion of the Great City. I wonder what they have changed for that. I know there was a Power Boy was one of the NPCs who could help the player characters, and I believe in the actual, whoops, in the actual, um, did this one come out? Ah, uh, this one came out too, doggone it. Uh, the little, what do you call them, the, um, I'm going to have to figure a way to get those back in, the, uh, those little bookmarks, and China. I know nothing about China. There's Shanghai. Oh, nice. Okay, big map in the center. Where are we at? 13 minutes. Okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. This is a hell of a, of a campaign. I'm afraid my own players would probably get bored with it. They, um, they come to the game and they play, and that's about it. They don't actually do a lot of note-taking outside the game, and I've only recently, with my Down Darker Trails campaign, established kind of an, a story arc that you need to pay attention to in order to see what is is actually, you know... Kind of like, in my games, things a lot of things are connected. A lot of people are connected. Um, if something happens in the game, then I will establish it in the game. Uh, if the players do something, I'll establish it uh, as, as, uh, as canon for the game at that point. Or, or, you know, add it. Oh, here's a bunch of spells. Tomes available. And artifacts. And an index. Very nice. Now hold on. What about... Where's the rocket? There's spoilers in this. I hope you don't think there won't be. But because the original one had some color plates. It was a black and white book. It had a few color plates in the center. Including a really neat picture of this rocket. But I don't see it in here. And I might be missing it. So, I don't know. There's our... There's book two. 
Okay, let's see what's in this bad boy. Kind of, I don't want to open this because then it's going to be hard to get closed again, but I want to see what's in here. So we're going to open up. This is the Keeper Screen Pack. I hope the Keeper Screen is nice and solid. I know that somebody had mentioned to me that Call of Cthulhu was kind of the first, or at least up there towards the first, of games that included scenarios with their Keeper Screen, which is nice because then you actually have a, good, a better reason than just the Keeper Screen to, uh, to get it. So here's this Keeper Screen Pack. Okay, so this is full of... Okay, here's all your handouts. Jeez, there are a, there's a lot. So if this isn't all handouts, it certainly is most hand, mostly handouts. Uh, NPCs? Maybe pre-gens? Looks like pre-gens. Maps. There's maps. A lot of beautiful maps. And handouts. So about half of this is handouts. And I'm not going to go through every single handout because there are a lot. And I would like to keep this nice. The, uh, oops, let's move that. Here is your map. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautifully done. And finally, then we have a nice, very solid keeper screen. I don't like when they, they fold them like this, though, because it makes it harder later on to, uh, to keep them, to keep them kind of like that, but very nice. Now let's see what's on the back. We've got, ooh, very, very nice, very terrifying. And what kind of stuff have we got here for here? Uh, the Carlisle Expedition members are up here, very good. Learning skills, that's always nice. Investigator development, travel times and days. Key non-player characters is the rest. Very cool. That's a very useful. That is very useful. Okay. And then we're going to try to get it, probably unsuccessfully try to get it back in the way it's supposed to go. Let's go ahead and put it back in here. Hopefully without damaging it. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be hard. Let's keep this little paper thing on here effectively. I'm feeling that's going to be the first thing that's going to get tossed or destroyed, unfortunately. There we go. Just have to be careful how you put it in. We've got... Let's take a look at everything we've got. Oh, there's not too bad of a glare. That's awesome. So there you have it, everybody. The massive Masks of Nyarlat Hotep. Uh, slipcase and books. Thanks for watching. This is amazing. One of these days I'm going to have to run this thing. I really am. Uh, but there you have it. So thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time.